Benjamin with Business Texture here. We're going to move on to automatic replies. So in Business Texture, the heart and the power of Business Texture lies in these automatic replies. So let's go ahead and dive in here. We have this first line under the main tab is the new contact response. Go ahead and click edit. We'll go through this. So you can see my message here. I'll just read this out loud. Here's the message to anyone who texts in. You can set your own keyword to get onto the list. And by list, I mean the business texter contacts list that we went through just a moment ago. By putting in a keyword in the middle tab. The default is band name. Leave the keyword field blank and anyone who texts in will be added to the biz texter contact list. And then I have my keywords here. So this is just using a, 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 a band uh, demonstration. So I'll go back through this because I think I might have moved a little fast. So uh, the new contacts, when anybody sends in a text message for the very first time to your phone, and you're running this on a pers on a shared phone, like your personal phone that you also run some your business work with. Uh, it's best to have a keyword in this area right here. And what this is going to do is is keep your personal separate from your family. So the only way anybody can get into Business Texter is by putting in this keyword here to as a new contact to get into the Business Texter uh, contacts. And then if you have this button, activate the activate response, if you have that checked, this will be the response that gets sent to them. Now, please keep in mind that if you have this button here unchecked, but you still have keywords, those keywords will still be required to get onto the system. So that activate response is only for the reply message back. Okay, let's go ahead and look into advanced. Advanced is great if you want to forward a phone number, like if a text message comes in and you want to forward it to your manager uh, or you, uh, any other uh, member of your team, you can do that. And then the accuracy controls the artificial intelligence on the keyword. So if you use a phrase, you might want to loosen it up. And if you use just an exact keyword, like I did the bad, band name, and then you want to tighten that up, I recommend starting out in the middle and if you have people getting added or autoresponders getting triggered uh, when they shouldn't, then to tighten that up. And if you have autoresponders uh, not triggering when they should, then to loosen that up. So you just want to keep that in the middle. So again, the new contacts autoresponder is if you are running business texture on a shared phone, then we recommend having a keyword in this section right here. If you're running, on, running it on a dedicated phone, this field, just leave this blank. I'm not going to hit save, but you just want to leave that blank. And then unactivate this response. You can leave the text in there. So again, one more time. If there's keywords in here, that's great for a shared phone. And no keywords is for a dedicated phone. Anybody who sends in a text on a dedicated phone, i.e. a phone with no keywords in this window right here, will get added to your list. So if your mom, your dad, your brother, your uncle, your aunt sends you a text message and this field is blank, they're going to get added into the business text or contacts. Okay, we'll click onto the standard auto replies. These are auto replies that while none of them are activated, we've gone in and created some uh, just template some basic information. I've actually edited the menu. And again, this is for a, a band demonstration. You can see I have about iTunes, Amazon, Play Store, Spring Tour. And then the keywords to activate this responder is menu, help. And then uh, I could set that in the middle. Okay, now I've clicked on custom. And Custom auto replies, you can have as many of these as you want. You can have them be for any keyword that you want. So let's scroll down to about, because that was in the menu. So if somebody sent in a text sent in a text message, uh, let's with the keyword about, uh, this would be the message that would get sent back to them. And here's the keyword. Okay, now you remember from the, the menu. Uh, automatic reply just a moment ago that there was also iTunes 
So if they trigger the menu and they say, oh, I want to see the iTunes, then they send another text message with the keyword iTunes. This is what will get sent back to them uh, in response. So they'd actually get two text messages, one for menu and then one for iTunes. So you can see that these can get stacked on top of each other and, and layered so it can provide a lot of context and a lot of depth to your business. And then I also have uh, in this in this band demonstration. If you if you're on stage and you say, "Hey, everybody from Memphis, send me a, a text message with the keyword Memphis to five of one zero five 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 one two one two," and you put a link to a set list. You, you maybe you're putting it on YouTube. Uh, you can provide a, a lot of rich media experiences with the business texter for using it for a band. But the same thing would apply to a restaurant. You could have a lunch menu, like a lunch special, a dinner special, maybe St. Patrick's Day special, Memorial Day special, 4th of July special. Maybe there's a boat show or a motorcycle show. You can go in and, and really create a lot of powerful custom niche marketing opportunities for your business with these auto automatic replies. So that covers the automatic replies.